Tonight, the Texas Attorney General is asking the state Supreme Court to stop a woman from getting an abortion. And this story is making national headlines as one of the most public tests of new abortion laws across the country. Sydney Persing from our Dallas affiliate reports. In a court hearing held over Zoom and watched across the country. I am going to grant the temporary restraining order. A judge granted a Dallas woman's request for an emergency abortion. The plaintiff, Kate Cox, is a 20 weeks pregnant mother of two. Her case capturing national attention after doctors confirmed her fetus has a fatal diagnosis. But under Texas law, Kate Cox can only have an abortion if her own life is in danger. Thursday, attorneys for the state argued she's not yet proved it is. The plaintiffs have not shown that they will suffer an immediate and irreparable injury. But the judge ultimately sided with Cox, whose attorneys argued carrying her baby to term could harm her and her chances of having another child. The state attempts to second guess Ms. Cox's physicians and say that she is still not sick enough. They have moved the goalposts once again. Now a patient must be about to die before a doctor can rely on the exception. It did not take Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton long to respond. In a letter, he threatened doctors who perform her abortion could still face civil and criminal charges despite the judge's ruling. And in a statement, anti-abortion group Texas Right to Life accused the Center for Reproductive Rights, which represents Cox, as using this lawsuit as a gateway to allow babies to be aborted for any reason, not just when the mother's life is threatened. I asked my doctor, you know, best case, how much time she thinks we would have with her and she said um, could be an hour could be a week um, but that we needed to prepare ourselves to be placing this baby onto hospice. Cox said she is overwhelmed still grieving the loss of the pregnancy she believes she can now end. I'm a Texan I love Texas I'm raising my children here I was raised here I want to be able to get access to the medical care that I need and my daughter to have it as well. Her lawsuit, by the way, is separate from the suit filed by 20 women who say Texas's abortion ban put their lives in danger. That suit sits before the state Supreme Court. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Persing. And in his appeal, Texas AG Ken Paxton says the Supreme Court needs to rule quickly. Here in Arkansas, our law criminalizes all abortions except to save the life of the mother. It went into effect in June of 2022 after Roe v. Wade was overturned.